So uh, we have been uh, showing uh, or looking on uh, one of the category of the thematic uh, mapping, uh, which is called um, uh, chloroplate. As you have seen, if you are you have paid attention, uh, you will find that. Uh, let me open one of the. Uh, if you uh, have been paying attention, uh, you find that you have been using this chloroplate uh, map. So uh, one of the feature that is remain is that uh, where do we need to use this bubble map? And what are the bubble map actually? So as I said uh, before, uh, when I was just explaining through uh, uh, using the PowerPoint, I said for that for the thematic mapping, we have these two categories uh, that we'll be focusing on. We have a lot of category, but uh, for this particular session, we'll be uh, focusing on these two categories, the color plate, which is actually showing the, uh, uh, the, the, the location by coloring. So and that coloring is actually has to be determined be with, uh, with the data that is being available. So, uh, the bubble map uh, is actually the same uh, thing, but uh, the difference with a uh, is that it will be showing the magnitude of the data for the particular location. So uh, you find that it's like a bubble, it's being cycled like a bubble. Then they find, they find that a certain location, it has uh, a lot of data. So it will be, the bubble will be, will be growing uh, bigger in size compared uh, to another, uh, to another, uh, to another location. So, for example, uh, let's take one of the uh, one of the favorite that has been uh, created that I can use. Uh, for example, let's open uh, the favorite called uh, malaria uh, case uh, positive. Uh, maybe for the last year. Uh, this, uh, let me update it, uh, period, let me make it to uh, uh, last year and update it. So if I update it, as you can see the map, uh, you will find that it's uh, no longer showing the color, covering the whole region or covering the whole location, but rather uh, displaying the magnitude of a data to a particular location. And this magnitude of the data will be glowing in size depending on the magnitude of the, of the data. So this kind of, of map, we call it a bubble, uh, a bubble, a map, a bubble map view. So. As you can see, even in the key here, in the region here, you will find that the small one uh, will be having this small data, but the bigger one will be having this uh, bigger magnitude of data. So for example, if somebody here uh, has to ask you uh, that uh, which of the district uh, is having uh, the lower uh, value of malaria uh, positive, malaria case positive, so you actually find uh, the district that is having the small cycle compared to other, uh, that should be uh, the district that is having a malaria, a lower malaria a positive case. So how and then, uh, which is the best way to this bubble map? We actually uh, recommend that, uh, for example, uh, this bubble map uh, can be used, for example, uh, you want to, uh, to, to, uh, to specify the hot spots of, uh, of the point that is having maybe a particular disease using the map, that's why you can use uh, uh, this uh, bubble maps. So this bubble map can be used uh, in, a, in, a, in a case uh, particular uh, for specifying um, uh, diseases only. Uh, on a map. So those that will be having a larger, uh, uh, a larger magnitude or the larger cycle of, of the, uh, of the uh, in a map that will be identified that uh, the location or the place that is having maybe higher cases of a particular, a particular disease. So uh, how to do that? I can just uh, simulate uh, simply, for example, 
let me create the new one. Uh, how to do that? You just need to go to a thematic layer and then uh, I will go to one of the indicator group called uh, malaria. So I will go for the uh, uh, malaria and then I can select uh, maybe uh, malaria, <coughs> sorry, malaria, maybe malaria uh, positive uh, microscope. And then I will select uh, this uh, as my indicator. And then the period I can just select for the last year, I can just select whatever year that uh, I want. And then the org unit, I can just want to show uh, maybe for the uh, by district for the entire country. And here in a style, this is where you specify. So because by default it comes with this crawl plate. And for now, if I want to the uh, bubble map, I just select the bubble map. So I can just use this uh, pre-defined uh, uh, region, or I can select uh, any color that I want from this list of color. And then once done, I just update it. So you will find that I have the uh, bubble map uh, showing uh, the ma magnitude of uh, malaria positive cases in a different uh, in a different district. So. Uh, this is how you can just uh, demonstrate uh, using the uh, uh, using the um, uh, marble uh, uh, marble uh, marble maps in the, in the maps app. So 